And tonight, a neighborhood rattled by a mass shooting took to the street where it all happened. Neighbors joined community leaders for a moment of encouragement to change the tide of violence there. CBS 2 Stephen Graves was out there tonight and talked with those who are now traumatized. Just feet from tragedy nights ago, a different type of gathering on May Street in Inglewood. Moments of prayer and unity. Things are, are hopeful, things are joyous, things are, are courageous. A stark contrast to chaos and calamity seen firsthand by Pastor Donovan Price. There was fear, there was anger, uh, all of those things at once plus blood. I was, I was shocked. Felicia March remembers the recent fury of gunshots that woke her out of her sleep Saturday night. And I want to see what can be done to stop the violence. So she and others joined this wake up rally as it's called for better understanding of how 13 people could be shot on her block. What police call an isolated incident at a memorial party still has a lot of unanswered questions. So far only one man is arrested on a gun charge but not in the shooting itself. Sunday, Mayor Lori Lightfoot suggested some people with information aren't talking. But tonight, some asked and some yelled for more to be done from police. More police um, in the neighborhood, more um, interactive with the, with the neighbors, with the community. And we got to work better to get them to a point where they're, they're happy to see the police. 7th District Commander Roderick Robinson responding tonight saying a team effort with the community is what's needed. With us working together, with them coming out, and the police coming down the street, getting out the cars, which I'm expecting my officers to do, would definitely make a difference. But the common thread between everyone showing up tonight is that this one tragedy does not define Inglewood. And tonight I asked the commander if there is any type of update in the investigation leading to a possible shooter. All he would tell me is that they're using every resource to get down to the bottom of this. Reporting in Inglewood, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News.